Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert very small images into vectors. Uh, one small slash big caveat is, please don't use this technique for stealing other people copyright artwork. It's not morally correct thing to do. Okay, so it's going to be done by first taking our picture, then making it larger, then blurring it then crashing the outline and then convert it to real vectors so we have full control over the whole image and have true infinite scalability. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is my small image and I'm going to copy it and paste it and make it as big as my approximate final size. Now I'm going to filters, filter editor and this will open this dialog. I'm going to create new filter, rename it to converter and enable it for this picture. Okay, now this is doing nothing, it just deletes all the content of this picture. So first I want to get rid of the background, you can see there is a white and black and I just want one color. So I'm going to add effect color matrix by clicking this and adding an effect and then I'm going to luminance to alpha so basically what does it mean it takes uh, lightness of the object and it converts it just to one color you can see it's inverted that's not what we want so we can fix that by adding another color matrix and putting minus one here and one here it basically just inverts alpha you don't need to worry about this now we are going to blur it by adding Gaussian blur and blurring it a little bit until the fuzziness is gone. Uh, we don't have to worry about this, we can tweak it later. So now we are going to crush it so it's sharp, it's not blurred. You can do it by component transfer, add in it and then going to alpha and change it to gamma and now we have the sliders we can crush the image with so I'm going to tweak with this until I have my image as I like it. You can have a less blurring and you can tweak it until your specific image is correct. So we are basically done. Only thing which is needs to be fixed is this ugly frame. That's pretty easy thing to do. So now you go to filter general settings and turn off out region, switch to node tool and you can move this axis so the frame is not there and basically that's kind of it and now you could use that but you could even convert it to the vector so let's convert it to the vector so we have full control over the image let's go to edit and make a bitmap copy this creates a copy of this and filter is applied to this and now i can go to path bitmap trace, select my image and I have still some control over how much of the silhouette I want but default should be fine, you can apply and now we have a vector of this image and if we want we can even tweak this manually so it's a little nicer if we want to but we don't need to so with this we have infinite resolution and you can use that. So I hope you find this useful and once again do not use this for stealing pictures. It's illegal, it's immoral and it hurts the artists. That's it and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.